Hey guys, so I recently got asked to talk about books and my experience with books. As you might know, right now I'm getting all of my books from the library. I got them from the library in London, I got them from the library whenever I was in New York City. I used to have a Billy bookshelf almost filled with books and I'm gonna insert a clip of my sister's bookshelf right now because mine looked similar in the past. I was a lover of books, especially books on psychology and self-help and self-growth. I was always looking for new titles. I always purchased them either at a local bookstore or on Amazon. And I spent quite a bit on books. And sometimes I would purchase books. I would read a couple pages and I knew that I wasn't really into that kind of writing style in the book itself and I would just stop reading it and would put it back into my shelf and that's way it would stay forever pretty much and these days whenever I don't like a book I simply bring it back to the library and that's it no resources wasted no money wasted nothing I just bring it back and that's it end of story so what I like about libraries is that I have a really broad variety of books. They usually always transfer books from one library to the other ones. If it's not available at my local library, I simply order it and have it delivered to my local library free of charge. What I also like about libraries is that usually they have the newest titles. Sometimes you can request for the library to get that new title. And even if my local library doesn't have that title I'm interested in, I might find it at another one and then they would be able to transfer that title to my local library. Whenever I moved to New York City in February 2014, I made the decision to get rid of almost all my books prior to my trip. And to be honest, that decision was fairly easy because it was either paying for luggage or not paying for luggage to haul my books across the sea to New York City. And for me, paying for a second suitcase was simply not an option. I would have never done it and that's why I simply made the decision to get rid of all my books. And whenever I moved, I had to move really quickly. I did manage to get rid of all of my stuff and by getting rid of my items, I mean in a responsible manner. I was trying to donate those books, I was trying to give them to friends and family. And I actually ended up keeping a box full of books that I was planning to sell because those were books that I could have made a bit of money with. Long story short, now I'm in Austria, that box of books is still here. And while I'm staying here, I will bring them to a local book stall. If you want to cut down on your books, I would simply set a date where you want to have cut down on your books. And I would also try to limit the amount of books you own to 5, 10, 15, what have you. Whatever feels comfortable to you. And of course, if you're not traveling, you might simply enjoy a large collection of books. But the way I like to think of it is the less books, the less clutter, the less spaces to dust. And with libraries, you get to enjoy so many books at the same time, free of charge or for a little yearly fee. Mm -hmm. Say, take advantage of it. Try to give them to friends, family members, or seek out a local second-hand shop that desperately needs new books. You can also always bring them to shelters if they're in need of books, but please ensure that they really need your books. So don't just drop off a bunch of old books to a charity shop because they might not even have a use for your old books. Whenever I worked at the charity shop and we got really old, yellowish books. We couldn't sell them because no one would buy books like this. 
So please, please, please check your books prior to donating them to ensure that the place you will be donating your books can actually really, really make use out of your books. While I personally don't have a Kindle or any device where I could read books other than my laptop, if that's an option for you, why not go for it? I prefer to have a physical book in my hands. I like the smell of it, I like the touch of the paper. So depending on what kind of person you are, go for a library card or go for a digital device with which you can read ebooks. Whenever I got rid of my books, it was an easy decision because I simply chose freedom to travel with only one big suitcase versus two if I would have brought all my books. And initially when I left for New York City, I, le I left with, I believe, three books and I have since gotten rid of those books as well because they're not serving any purpose for me anymore. I've read them multiple times and I know should I ever want to read them again, I can get them at the library. I hope this inspired you to maybe minimize your selection or to browse for books at your local library. And please let me know how you feel about having a huge book collection or how you feel about getting your books at the library. Because not only does it save you a lot of money, it also saves you a lot of space. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time and have a lovely day.